were very excited about having kids and we were, you know, we moved to Austin and we were like hardcore family formation, right? Like buy a house, uh, you know, get a dog, start trying to have kids. Um, and I, I'm surprised looking back how little I reflected. I'm like, this is gonna change everything, right? This is gonna change your whole focus. This is gonna change, you know, the balance and nature of your relationship with your wife. Like it's just gonna change the world. So I've got two kids, uh, Felix is four, and Jude is a little over two. There was this period when Felix, all of a sudden, particularly bedtime, became very difficult. It didn't have any, like, reason to have conflict, but something about our relationship was just becoming really difficult. You know, he wanted to fight, and then I wanted to be really authoritative which totally was not a useful, you know, response. So my wife was like, we got to do something about this. Can we take some classes? Like, do you want to do into some sort of family therapy or something? Like, what are we doing? And um, as I was looking through all those options, I, I saw that SAFE has fatherhood classes. The guy who was teaching my course, this guy Chalmer, was kind of like a, you know, role model peer hybrid, because uh, he shared a lot. and. You know, just the ability to have deep conversations about fatherhood, I think, is really valuable. I had and have a real good relationship with my father and my mom, right? They, they were around, they were really involved. They led me and nurtured me down various paths, right? Um, but, like, did that prepare me to be the sort of father I want to be? I don't know necessarily if it did. There's. There's a lot of things about how I was fathered, right? My relationship with my dad that I want to keep as a through line, right? Like I want to carry those through, like love of music, uh, storytelling, um, you know, talking through and talking both about my childhood and my experience being fathered and also what sort of father I want to be and, you know, selectively build that set of values, you know, in a real intentional and focused way in a conversation with somebody else who's also been through this and thought about it a lot. It's just fantastically valuable. When you're raising a kid, you're thinking about, like, the ideas and the values that this kid's learning. You can't just say, do this, you know, here's the right way to be, be this way. Um, enjoy doing these things. Um, they have to see it. You have to do it. I think that gets to part of why uh, really raising your kids and being serious about it is also changing you, right? It's raising, you're raising yourself. If I want Felix to believe in practicing stuff, he's got to see me practice stuff. If I want Felix to be able to talk about his emotions, I have to show him that I can do that hard. It's hard, but it's valuable for him, you know, and his future, and for me.